en nous allons descendre sur toi. Amen. Amen. The questions that bothers me on marriage. La Pat. question qui m'intrigue, qui me, qui, qui me manque qui. Uh, Proverbs en chapter 31. Proverbs 31. We'll be reading a lot of quotes and um, be straight on the point. Proverbs chapter 31 verses 10. Proverbs 31 au verset 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. Elle a bien plus de valeur que And Brother Bram said, for a thousand women, it's hard to find one virtuous woman. And that is why, why we need to treasure the women that God gave to us. Uh, the marriage so-called they have in the world is not marriage. Ce que le monde appelle le mariage n'en est pas un. And we thank God for what the Lord doing for us. Mais nous remercions Dieu pour ce qu'il nous so fait. So if you find one precious one, Et si tu as en as trouvé a virtuous woman, une vertueuse, you need to be very thankful. Vous devez être reconnaissant. And treasure it like Et gold. Et la chérir comme de l'or. God the Bible said the price is far above rubies. Parce que la Bible dit qu'elle a plus gold, silver, anything. de valeur que les perles, l'argent. The heart et tout. of a husband does safely trust in her. Le cœur de son trust. mari a confiance en elle. If you have that precious woman, si tu as that treasure. Femme, that trésor, virtuous woman, cette femme, your heart trusts in her ton a en elle. because she's trustworthy Parce elle est digne de confiance. And, and she's sincere. Elle est sincère. And Brother Bram said that's what God requires from a believer. Et Frère Bram dit que c'est ce que Dieu réclame du croyant. To be sincere. D'être sincère. Not to be fake. Pas être God is faux. not coming for fake Christians. Dieu ne vient pas pour les faux chrétiens. He's coming for genuine. Il vient pour genuine. Authentic. Something he can trust. Quelque chose en, en Something that his heart confiance. will trust in it. Quelque chose dans laquelle son cœur peut être. Amen. Amen. Now verses 12. She verse would 12. do, this virtuous woman would do him good. Elle lui fait du bien. Amen. Amen. The word good is very, very important. Le mot bien a... This virtuous woman will do you good. Cette femme te fera she won't du bien. hurt you. Elle va te, elle va pas te Somebody will say amen. amen. And not evil. Et non du mal. So when you see a woman that doing evil to the husband, Envoyer evil, 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 conceiving du mal evil all the time, tout le temps à son mari, she's not virtuous. Elle n'est pas vertueuse. Oh, somebody say amen. amen. And that is a scripture, brother. C'est l'écriture, mes frères. Amen. Amen. How many are virtuous women here? Combien sont elles virtuous sisters? Raise up your hands. Virtuous. Virtuous. All the moment. sisters are virtuous, Toutes I believe. Les sont virtuous. You know what makes you virtuous? -vous ce qui vous rend virtuous? When you receive the revelation of Malachi 4. Quand vous recevez la révélation de Malachi 4. Amen. Shall we bow? Almighty God, this morning we come before matin. you. We ask for your leadership, nous guidance of God, that your spirit will lead us. Ton nous Shine your light on us, oh God. Nous par ta Let the power of God move among Et us. Que la de Dieu I bring every de negative control spirit on my face. That the power of the Holy Ghost will move. Et que la du we me thank you nous te in Jesus' name. Au nom de Amen. Amen. We may be seated. Because of the questions, we would like to limit the scriptures. If you don't mind to open Romans chapter 7, verses 2. Let's read that Romans verse. 7, Just one verse. We have two more scriptures. Let's go through it. Romans chapter 7, verses 2. Romans 7, verse 2. We are behind time, so let's... Le temps est contre nous. For the woman which has a husband is bound by the law. Ainsi, the reason why we repeat this scripture la pour nous ces because it's a very important scripture parce que ce sont des is bound très by très the law Ainsi, to her husband. Par la loi à son mari. So that means a woman that has a living husband une femme qui a as un long as vivant, your husband is alive aussi que ton mari est vivant, it don't matter the condition it don't matter the condition. condition. 
you cannot marry again. Tu ne peux plus te remarier. Amen. Amen. So long as he lived, but if the husband be dead, Mais she is meurt, loose elle est from the law de la loi of her husband. A à son mari. Or somebody will say amen. Amen. Now, à présent, so we find that this virtuous woman must high or show a high standard morality. Nous avons vu que cette femme vertueuse doit montrer un standard moral élevé. And this virtuous woman must be able to render good service to the husband good. De bien servir son mari et lui faire du bien. But Abraham said the Abraham main dit, purpose of marriage is to have a family. Le but principal du mariage c'est d'avoir une famille. That is the main purpose. C'est le but principal. Because God is a family God. Parce que Dieu est un Dieu de famille. God loves family. Dieu aime la famille. Somebody will say amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Alléluia. But Abraham said, the dit, family cannot be truly be one. La famille ne peut pas être vraiment unie. The marriage can truly cannot be truly be one. La, Or in other words, le mariage ne peut pas être vraiment un. In other words, the family cannot come together. En un mot, la famille the ne peut family pas cannot un. be one. La famille ne peut pas être une. Until Abraham said, Christ is in the marriage. Jusqu'à ce que Christ ne soit dans le mariage. And when Christ Alleluia. is in the marriage, si, it makes the marriage one. Et si Christ est dans le mariage, il fait du it mariage the un. Family one. Il rend la famille une. He said the family cannot be truly be one la unless fa- God is in there. La famille ne peut vraiment être une à moins God que Dieu is soit. in there to make it one. Et Dieu y est pour la rendre une. So when the family is divided. Et si la famille est divisée. When the marriage is broke, si le mariage est brisé, when the couple are calling for divorce, et si les, les époux demandent le divorce, it means God is not in the marriage. Cela veut dire que Dieu n'est pas dans le mariage. But when Christ is in the marriage, mais si Christ est dans le mariage, and He takes the center stage, et, et qu'il est le centre le, of every decision in the marriage, de toutes les décisions dans le mariage, the family will be one. La famille sera une. The husband and the wife will be one. Le marié la femme seront un and god will bless the home et dieu bénira le foyer amen amen if your house is divided si ta maison est divisée it cannot stand elle ne peut pas tenir if there's divorce et s'il y a le divorce it will produce cela va produire illegitimate children des enfants illégitimes des enfants bâtards the family will be broke la famille sera brisée and the presence of God will leave. Et la présence de Dieu va disparaître. When Israel broke the marriage, Quand Israël brisa le mariage, the presence of God left in the la book of Ezekiel. La présence de Dieu est partie. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said, la Bible the dit, presence of God came and stood at the threshold. Et le, le, la présence de Dieu est venue se tenir au portail. You know, when he left Israel, he never came back again. That is why the Bible said in Malachi, the Bible said there was no dream, no vision. When the presence of God leave the people, because there is a divorce, or there is a blockade something, the presence of God will leave. And the Bible said he stood there at the threshold for some time. Before it took flight. Jusqu'à ce qu'elle ne, qu'elle ne s'en aille. Amen. Amen. Let's keep the presence of God. Gardons la présence de Dieu. But Abraham said. Abraham dit, now, think, the thinking man failed. Le fils d'un homme qui Abraham réfléchit. Abraham preached that message in 1965. Abraham a prêché ce message en 1965. And he said, the thinking man failed. Is Abraham the holy man's taste. Que le, le fils d'un homme qui réfléchit, c'est le goût d'un homme saint. When you put on the thinking man filter in your marriage, dans votre mariage, Father Abraham said that is the holy man's taste. Dit, c'est, c'est ça le goût de that is saint. that is where you get the right taste of c'est it. Là où vous avez le bon, le, that that le, is where you experience le bon joy. C'est là où vous la joie. Amen. Amen. Listen to what he said. He said marriage is a mystery. How the woman should be in respect to their husband. If the respect is gone, the marriage is gone. Even the second place, I believe it is, in the entire Bible, that reverence was ever spoke to. Les révérends ont jamais parlé. What the prophet is saying that there was only second place that you hear about reverence. 
C'est seulement la deuxième place où tu entends de la révérence. And when that reverence came, et quand vient cette révérence, the Lord said the woman must, the wife must have uh, reverence for the husband. Dieu dit la femme doit révérer son mari. And that reverence means respect. Et cette révérence veut dire utmost le respect. respect. Un respect très élevé. Respect you see ultime. a woman that reverence the husband. You see a woman that reverence the husband. Vous voyez des femmes qui révèrent leur mari. And you see in return how much the man also love the wife. Et vous allez voir combien l'homme va aimer sa femme. That husband will do everything for Ce the woman. Ce mari fera tout à sa femme. He will try his best and do everything possible. Il prendra tous les soins possibles de lui faire tout. Amen. The woman saying she reverence her husband. La femme, voyez comment la femme respecte son mari. Reverence her husband. Elle révère son mari. Now listen to the men also. Écoutez les hommes aussi. Then a man ought to live such a life. Et là, l'homme aussi, le mari aussi doit vivre une telle vie. You cannot expect your wife to reverence you. Tu ne peux pas if you cannot set the right example before si her. Ne peux pas lui le bon so Barabrim said the husband must live such a life. Le mari aussi doit vivre une telle vie. He ought to live such a life before his wife. Devant sa femme. He needs to set the right example like et, Christ did. Il, il doit mettre en place le bon exemple. The Bible says he loved the church and he gave himself even to La the Bible church. Dit qu'il a aimé l'église et s'est donné pour elle. Before his wife, that his wife could reverence him et as sa a femme, son of God. Et que sa femme puisse le révéler. So you see how the word of God is balanced. Voyez-vous comment la parole de Dieu est juste? Amen. Amen. You cannot walk on her like a doormat and you expect the woman to reverence you. Tu ne peux pas marcher sur elle comme un marchepied et espérer que la femme It's not going to happen. Cela ne peut pas But we marcher. need to live a life before the woman. Nous devons vivre la vie, une vie devant la femme. Amen. Amen. Malachi chapter 2 verse 16. Malachi. We are trying to lay this and then we go straight to the question. Malachi 2 au verset 16. Now, if you are a child of God, Alors, si vous êtes if you are a de true Dieu, child of God, si tu es un vrai de God Dieu, will do everything to stop you from putting your wife away. Dieu fera tout pour t'empêcher de divorcer ta femme. De Because ta the femme. Lord hates divorce. Parce que le Seigneur est le the divorce. Bible says he hates putting away. La Bible dit que le Seigneur he est doesn't like it. Il Malachi pas. chapter 2 verse 16. Malachi, Malachi 2 au verset 16. We're going to speed up a little bit, if you can help me. All right. For the Lord, the God of Israel, said he hated putting away. Car j'aurai la répudiation, dit l'Éternel, le Dieu d'Israël. He hated putting away. Il est la répudiation. So God will do everything possible to stop you. Dieu fera tout possible pour t'empêcher. And we have an example in the Bible. Nous avons l'exemple dans la Bible. In Matthew chapter 1, verses 19 to 20. Matthieu 1, verset 19. One of the just men in the Bible. Dans la Bible. A real and a special character in the Bible. Un vrai caractère. Amen. A man being a just man. Un homme juste. By the name Joseph. Son nom est Joseph. He set the right example in the Bible. Il a érigé le bon exemple dans la so Bible. So in Matthew chapter 1 verses 19. Alors dans Matthieu 1. And the Bible says he was not willing to make her a public what? Show. Et la Bible dit qu'il ne voulait pas faire d'elle une honte publique. Or in other words, bring disgrace to the woman. Et il ne voulait pas honir la femme. Amen. Why? Because Joseph didn't understand it yet. Pourquoi? Parce que Joseph n'avait pas he never understood compris. the plan of God yet. Il n'avait pas encore compris And sometimes when a man doesn't understand the plan of God, Et si l'homme ne comprend pas le plan we de Dieu, act contrary to God's plan. Nous agissons contraire au And plan the reason de why we act contrary to God's plan because you don't understand. La raison en est que nous n'avons pas compris. So then Joseph, Alors Joseph her husband, son époux, being a just man, qui était un homme de bien, this man was just 
He had a fear of God. And this Joseph was a son of David. And he had David's spirit. And he loved God. He was just in his dealings. And he didn't want to bring any reproach. So he decided to put her wife, his wife, away privately. Because in the Old Testament, in those days, when a woman is caught in the act of adultery, they don't spare you. They stone you. And knowing how Mary was so precious to him, and they didn't want to make a public show, something, public example, he was minded. He was very cautious in his dealing because he saw that the wife has taken seed. Oh, somebody will say amen. amen. What an example. And to make her a public example was minded to put her away privately. Mindful. Il était prudent. Oh, somebody say amen. And verses 20. Oh, but yes, why he thought on those things, he was thinking Quand il to put choses, Mary away because of Marie reproach and to try to save her image. Et de manière à sauver son image. Behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a Voici dream. Un ange du Seigneur lui apparaît en songe. And Brother Et Brim said, when a dream is interpreted, it's a vision. Because a vision is real. But when a dream is also interpreted, then it's a vision. It becomes so clear. So the angel appeared to him and made it clear to him while he was asleep. And this is what he said. He said, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, you are a righteous man. Fear not to take Mary thy wife. Ne crains pas de prendre avec toi Marie, and Brother Abraham said at that time, moment, Joseph has betrothed Mary Joseph avait fiancé Marie and has not known her. Et ne pas connu. Or somebody will say amen. amen. And he said, For which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. So there's something special about Joseph. I hope you catch me. Amen. Amen. There's something special about that name. Il y a chose de avec because ce nom. Brother Abraham said it's a type of Jesus Christ. Now you think about the old Joseph in the Bible, Old Pensez Testament. Au vieux Joseph de la Bible dans Testament. See how the Lord picked him up. Le a pris? See how he was the one that buried his father. Que lui qui avait son père. And you look at the New Testament Joseph. Un peu le, le Joseph du he Testament. was the one that buried Jesus. Lui qui a Jésus. Have you thought about it? Déjà pensé à so cela? very special. Très And this Joseph, Et ce Joseph, he was the only one il était whose wife dont la femme was picked by God. A été par Dieu. And used the same womb. Et a le même utérus. To bring forth the promised son. Pour le fils promis. That same womb. Et ce même brought utérus. forth other many children also. A aussi plusieurs autres enfants. Oh, somebody will say amen. amen. What a precious God. Quel Dieu précieux. He said don't be afraid to take Mary for your wife. Et dit, ne point because de what, what she conceived of. Parce que ce qu'elle a conçu is holy. Est saint. It's by the spoken word. C'est par la parole. It's not Allez. by a man. Ce n'est pas par un homme. It has nothing to do with a man. Cela n'a rien à faire avec l'homme. It has everything to do with the Holy Ghost. Mais cela a tout fait avec le Saint Esprit. And that fear left. Et cette crainte a disparu. And Joseph protected Mary. Et Joseph a protégé Marie. Protected Marie. the baby. Protégé le bébé. Oh, somebody say Amen. Amen. You love the Lord. Eh ben vous le Seigneur. The message absolute 1963. L'absolu 1963. We are going to look at 
the characters. Now, when a young man, Brother Abraham said, when a young man is going to get married to a young woman, this is very, don't miss this. Va épouser une jeune femme, ne, c'est très important. He must know the character of this young woman. Il doit connaître le caractère de cette jeune homme, cette jeune femme. I'll stop in a minute. Je vais m'arrêter pour un instant. If a young man Quand un jeune homme is going to look for a woman, va chercher une femme. And this young man find a woman. Et qu'il trouve une femme. But Abraham said this man must know the character. Robert dit ce jeune homme doit connaître le caractère. You better know the character before you bring some devil in your house. Same applied with a sister too. If you are waiting for your husband, you better not rush and give your vow and commit yourself. Know the character. Because the marriage is going to be based on character. Parce que le mariage sera basé sur le caractère. Because the beauty will be going down, 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 but the character will be going up, up, up. He must know the character of this young man. This of this young man also. So the man must know the character of the woman, and the woman must not know the character of this young man. The Bible is balanced. La Bible est juste. Amen. Amen. Now, but Abraham said, they must have something they can hold on. You know why a lot of marriages breaks? It breaks because they don't have something in common. Think about it. Take a breath. Wait a minute. And go through your marriage and see whether you have something in common. Something that when there is a storm, both of you can hold on. If you don't have that in the marriage, the marriage cannot stand. I'll prove to you. Amen. I didn't hear amen. But Abraham said, they must have something in common. Something in common. So what is that? Why is marriages broken, separation and everything? They need to have something in common. And this morning, I ask you, what is that? Somebody tell me, what is that? Brother Baka, what is it? Holy Ghost. Le frère Baka dit c'est le Saint Esprit. Make sure the man have the Holy Ghost. Prends soin que l'homme soit rempli du Saint Esprit. The sister have the Holy Ghost. Que la sœur aussi rempli du Saint Esprit. Amen. Amen. So let me pick up this question. Je vais prendre cette question. Now. À présent. He said, Brother Tony, what must what what must one look for before getting married? À quoi dont toi doit-on regarder quand on veut se marier? Holy Ghost fair brother. Un frère qui est. He has to be a Holy Ghost fair sister. Elle doit être une sœur remplie du Saint Esprit. A brother that loves the Word and have the fear of God. Un frère qui aime la parole qui a la crainte du Seigneur. A brother or a sister that have character. Un frère ou une sœur qui a Character that is fit to rule. Le These are the things you look for. I pick all of them from the, from the message, you know. Je vais dans le or somebody say amen. amen. A man of wisdom. Un homme sage. Prayerful. Qui prie. Amen. amen. A man of wisdom. A man that un, can pray. Un homme sage qui peut A woman prier. that can pray. Une femme qui peut prier. A man with sincere heart. Un homme qui a un a truthful person. Trustworthy. Qui est digne de confiance. You see the virtuous woman. Vous voyez la femme vertueuse? She is the one that the man can trust. Trustworthy. Elle est celle-là que l'homme en, en, en laquelle l'homme peut compter. A visionary man. Un homme de vision. A man who cannot make a good decision. That man is not good to marry. Un homme indécis 
Because the man is indecisive. And he has to be a hard working also. Because you don't want to have a lazy man. The same apply with the woman also. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, let's get to this question here. Venons à cette question -ci. Now, he said, he said, he said, now, à présent, if it is true si that the vrai, first marriage was not lawful, que le premier mariage n'était pas selon la and loi, this question is based on the fornication in Matthew chapter 19. Et cette question est basée sur la fornication dans Matthieu 19. If it is true, si c'est vrai, that the first marriage was not lawful. Que le premier mariage n'était pas selon la loi. The vow was not sincere. Le vœu n'était pas sincère. So the man chose to remarry. That's Et the question. Que l'homme décide de se remarier. Does that marriage also fall under the covenants of the law of polygamy? Est-ce que cette lo cette, ce mariage aussi tombe sous la loi de la polygamie? The answer is no. La, la réponse en est non. Praise the Lord. Because here, in this case, you find that the man is completely innocent. Et ici, vous voyez que l'homme est complètement innocent. Because that, that vow they took is not lawful. Parce que it's not binding. Qu'ils ont fait n'était pas de bonne foi. Amen. Now it goes on. It says, "Can the man in question hold an office in the church?" Est-ce que cet homme peut être un officier de l'église? Amen. Now we can also add this: Can the woman also remarry? Est-ce que la femme aussi peut se remarier? I hope you catch the whole question. J'espère que vous avez une vision du, de la question entière. The marriage was not lawful. Le mariage n'était pas. And if it was not lawful, means that it wasn't recognized by God. Ce qui veut dire que Dieu ne l'a pas reconnu. It doesn't matter the minister that married them is not lawful. Why? Because the woman was only lying to the man. Parce que la femme avait menti à l'homme. That I'm a virgin. Que je suis vierge. Or having known any man. Que je ne aucun homme. But that woman was lying. Mais elle so in that case, Dans ce cas, the Bible permits the man la Bible permet à to put the woman away. De la femme. Amen. Somebody also asked a question. Aussi a posé la so question. Can the man live with the woman for a little bit before he put no? <laughs> que peut both of you will be, will be avec committing fornication then. Come again. Then both of you will be committing fornication. Que peut vivre avec la femme pour the first day, you, the first day, commettre, uh, la fornication. You find out. Le premier jour que tu the marriage cela, is not lawful. It's le, over. Le mariage est terminé. But Abraham said, even if they have five children or ten children, it doesn't, doesn't matter. If they have lived even enfants, ten years, si that same ans, day. Le même jour, you cannot keep the woman for another two years. And then one day he said, uh, you remember two years ago you told me that Tu ne peux pas garder la femme et dire un jour après deux années que oh, te rappelles-tu qu'il y a de cela deux ans, tu m'avais dit quelque chose. You cannot do that. Tu ne peux pas faire ça. But the question continues. That question is very deep. La question and continue, elle est très profonde. Can the woman marry again? Est-ce que la femme peut encore se remarier? That's the question maybe we we'll look at the next week. C'est la question que nous allons voir la semaine prochaine. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Louis soit le Seigneur. So we need to make sure that we get this understanding. Nous devons soin de comprendre ceci. If the fornication was committed before the marriage, si la fornication a été commise avant, avant le mariage, and the woman failed to confess it, et que la femme a manqué de confesser and cela, and the minister pronounced blessing on the marriage, et que le mariage a été even par ten years vie, ago, peut-être il y a de cela dix ans, the marriage is not lawful. Le mariage n'est pas sincère. The covenant sincère. is not valid. Et L'alliance n'est pas valide. The vow is nullified. Le vœu est nul, est oh. annulé. Somebody say amen. Amen. Now can this man minister? Est-ce que cet homme peut être ministre? And that is where the scripture comes in in 1 Timothy 3. C'est là où vient l'écriture de 1 Timothée. I think 3. it would depend on the minister. Je pense que cela dépendra du ministre. But Abraham said that individual has to marry a virgin. Et Fabanan dit cet individu doit épouser une vierge. Amen. Praise the Lord. But the question is, can this brother minister? Can he minister? Can he minister the word? Est-ce que ce frère peut être ministre de l'évangile? The Bible said a bishop must be blameless. La Bible dit qu'un évêque 
So if the, if the blame doesn't fall on him, si then he's blameless. De faute sur lui, alors il est sans faute. Amen. But if he's blamed, Mais then he cannot claim innocence. Si il y a de faute sur lui et qu'il ne peut pas se déclarer innocent. Amen. There are some of the questions that are silenced. You have to just apply wisdom. Il y a certaines questions à laquelle vous devez appliquer la sagesse pour la réponse. Amen. So I'll, I'll leave it as it is. Je vais la laisser ainsi. Praise the Lord. You love the Lord. Et ben vous le Seigneur. Like I said, it depends on the minister. Comme If the dit, minister assesses the situation and he wants to the brother to minister, it's up to the minister. Si le pasteur accepte la situation et veut laisser le frère prêcher, quitte à lui. The Bible said he has to be a husband of one wife. La Bible dit qu'il doit être époux d'une seule femme sans reproche. Amen. You love the Lord. Amen, vous le Seigneur. All right. But Abraham said, Abraham dit, Now, the woman must also consider, will this man be a just man? We'll la continue the quote on the absolute. Will he make me the right type of husband? Fera -t -il le bon mari pour Will this -t -il woman le bon mari give me in life what I expect from her? Que cette femme peut me ce que And elle, of her loyalty, loyalty, trust. Et sa loyauté, la And then it got to be somewhere that they can base their faith or their vow upon. Something that can hold. Chose qui peut tenir. If there's a storm in the marriage, something Et that quand can il hold. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Louis soit le Seigneur. So if a sister, you find that this brother, his character stinks, don't Et go there. Si tu, tu es soeur, tu découvres que ce, ce frère n'a pas un bon caractère. A brother or a sister that doesn't have respect. Un frère ou une soeur qui n'est pas respectueux. You need to examine and do your investigation. Vous devez examiner et faire vos propres enquêtes. Amen. Amen. Because Brother Bram said, a bad Parce woman, dit, a bad woman, une mauvaise femme, will be like a water in your blood. Il sera comme de l'eau dans ton sang. Now this is question and answer. Say, should a saved wife refuse herself to her husband if their husband is a sinner? Est-ce qu'une femme qui est sauvée peut se refuser à son mari si le mari est péché? This sister is saved, a believer, Cette filled with the Holy sauvée, Ghost. Rem, euh, croyante, remplie du Saint-Esprit. Should this sister restrain herself because the husband is a sinner? That's the péché. question. Est-ce qu'elle peut empêcher son mari parce qu'elle est péché? But Abraham said no. Abraham dit non. Absolutely no. Absolument I know pas. a lot of sisters, they made that mistake to get maybe an unbeliever. Je a lot of time, it come to their mind, they struggle with that. Oh, my husband is a erreur. sinner, but Abraham said, it doesn't matter. Et Abraham dit, et dit que ma, ma mari est péché. The prophet said, Peu no. Abraham no, sir. No, monsieur. That's your husband. Ton mari. You will drive him further away from God than ever by doing that. Tu t'éloigneras plus de Dieu en faisant cela. I hope we catch it. J'espère que nous avions capté cela. That's right. Brother, vrai. sister, you Frère are soeur, married to him. Tu es marié à lui. He is yours and you are his. Il Amen. Est à toi, tu es à lui. Question and answers 1964. The Bible tells us that a wife... Now, this question is very important. The Bible tells us that the wife should obey her husband. I'm a Christian and my husband is a sinner. And my husband persecutes me in every way. Every way that he can. Me persécute de toutes les manières qu'il peut. And for me not to go to church, even to read my Bible, et même lire ma Bible, and force me to deny the word, et me force à dénier la parole. That's the question. It's a question and answer. 1963. Dis-nous question réponse. This sister said, "What must I do?" Et cette sœur demande ce qu'elle doit faire. Amen. 
The answer is in Luke chapter 14, verses 26. La réponse That's where the answer is. If you want to write it down. But Abraham said, what should I do? Now listen. You are supposed to obey your husband. Amen. Amen. But it's not full stop. Mais ce n'est pas un point final. You are supposed to obey your husband. Tu es supposé that is the word. Marie, la now, if he tells you and refuses you Maintenant, to read the Bible, il, il te dit et de lire la Bible, or stop you from going to church, ou aller à or go to church, or something like that, ou bien quelque chose de similaire, you don't have to obey that. Tu ne dois pas obéir à cela. Luke chapter 14, 26. Luke 16, Luke 14, verset 26. If a man come to me si vient à moi, and hates not his father, et il ne hait son père, if you come to Christ, si tu viens à Christ and you don't forsake your family, Tu pas ta Here famille. the Bible said, you see the different interpretation. Voyez, they said, if you don't hate and hate not his father et ne hait pas son père, and mother sa mère, and wife sa and femme, children. Ses enfants. You see the word hate is strong, you know. Vous savez, le but mot actually it's forsake. The meaning is forsake. La, 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 la vraie, In le other, other words, abandonné. when you come to the Lord, you must forsake everything. En d'autres mots, quand tu viens au Seigneur, tu dois tout abandonner. There are many people who say, oh, uh, I know the Lord is calling me, but my friends out there, I can't leave them. You are going to lose heaven. Because if you do that, you are not worthy of the kingdom. You must forsake everything. You must forsake denomination. And in that case, if your husband stops you, from serving God or reading your Bible. But Abraham said, you don't have to obey that. You must take a stand for the word. If your mother, your father is a Muslim, me, and the Lord opens your eyes, and you come to the knowledge of truth, Et que tu viens à la connaissance de and la this vérité. Muslim spirit is taking you back. Et que ce or the family is trying to take ramène. you back. But Abraham said you don't have to obey that. Dit, vous n'avez pas, you must take vous a stand for the word. À cela. Vous devez pour la Somebody will say amen. 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 Now, if a man came to me and hate not his father and mother and his wife and children and sisters and ye, his own life also. Si quelqu'un vient à moi et s'il ne hait pas son père, sa mère, sa femme, ses enfants, ses frères et ses soeurs, et même sa propre vie. Now can you see the worth of the word? Pour vous voir la valeur de la parole. The value, the worth. La valeur de la parole. Is more than silver and gold. Elle est plus God came first in Dieu everything. En premier, en toute chose. Amen. Amen. I believe that question is answered. Je pense que ce, cette question a répondu. Amen. Now, Amen. the second part of this question. Now, La deuxième partie de cette question. Écoutez. And if the man had been maybe bullying you, si, uh, or Brother Britannis, Bram gave a second part of it also. Frère Bram a donné la... A man is not supposed to use the authority over a woman just because he is her ruler. If you see that man doing that, it's against the word. God is her ruler. God is her ruler above you. Brother, see. If your wife is doing something wrong, then you have got the right to tell her. She is supposed to listen to you. But you haven't got the right to beat her. Will you say amen? Amen. 
Oh, the Lord made me a ruler over you. Le Seigneur a fait de moi ton maître. So you use your wife like a punching what what is it? Punching bag, right? Et you are not a man. Ta femme comme un sac de punch. You can't beat tu her. Pas un homme. Tu ne peux pas ta femme. Or drag her around. No, sir. Ou bien la traîner, tout, tout, tout. God tout. made non. a woman a helpmate. Dieu she a is, fabriqué la femme, a créé la femme comme she une aide. She is your sweet heart. Elle est ton chéri. Now imagine the king gives you the king. Imaginez que le roi vous donne. Will give you her daughter. Vous donne son, sa fille. To marry. À épouser. Imagine the president of America will give you his daughter to marry. Imaginez que le président des États-Unis vous donne son fi- How will you épouser. treat this woman? Comment vas-tu traiter cette fille? That's the question. C'est là la question. Brother Gardner. Frère Gardner. The king of kings. Le roi des rois. Gives you ta donné. his daughter. Sa fille. How will you treat her? Comment vas-tu la traiter? Amen. Let's give the Lord a clap of praise. Amen. He said the woman must stay with the word. The brother must also stay with the word. La femme doit rester avec la so they de must have Lord. something in common. And what is it? It's the word of God who C'est keep la parole the marriage. De Dieu. Amen. Amen. All right. So that question is well answered. We move on. Now, please. Clarify a vow taken. This person actually is in another country. Send it. He said, please clarify a vow taken in good faith. Clarifier un vœu sous bonne foi. And why did Brother Abraham annulled the wedding? Et pourquoi Frère Abraham a annulé le mariage? Vows taken under good faith. This one probably will take us some little time if you don't mind. Un vœu sous bonne foi. we have to read scriptures, you know. And we have went through that. Sister Lois and Brother Billy Paul stuff, we use that demonstration. La sœur Lois et le frère Billy Paul, nous avions pris cela. But Abraham said, your vow marries you. Period. Ton vœu te marie. So you cl- we want to clarify it. Nous voulons when, is, when it's done in good faith. So let's look at it, how it is done in good faith. Comment est-ce que cela est fait we are going to get an example from the scriptures. Et nous allons prendre un exemple de l'écriture. Amen. In Genesis chapter 24 and verses 30. Genèse 24, verset 30. Now here, as long as, let me read a vow. As long as they take that vow, Aussi they are married. Veut, Just like a boy, if it's, if the boy promises a girl to marry her, and that good faith, à une fille de sous the bon boy fait. is obligated to that girl. Le jeune homme est obligé he is à just cette as fille. good as married her. We saw that Ceci with Joseph est, and Mary. Ceci est aussi comme s'il avait déjà Nous Can you say amen? But in that case, it was taken in good faith. Dans Let's see the example. But Abraham said, your vow is sacred. That's what marries you. Let's look at step by step. Nous allons voir ça étape par étape. The scriptures Les about Isaac à and Rebecca. Et Rebecca. Amen. And Eliezer is the one that's supposed to bring Rebecca. First of all, he made a vow to God that I'll do the right thing. Il a, il prit un vœu Abraham says, swear to me Abraham dit, Jure moi. that you will not bring somebody from the Canaanite to my son. But you go to my family, my kindred, and bring somebody, a Christian. A Christian. Bring that person to my, my, my son. So it came to pass. When he saw the earring and the bracelets. Who put the earring and the nose? That was their culture. It doesn't mean you have to do it because that was the Jewish culture. When a man makes a vow and the vow is accepted, immediately the man will put a earring. 
and a bracelet. If the woman accepts it, it's like accepting that vow. That was their culture. C'est leur culture. And we do it. How do we do here? Promise ring. Comment est-ce que nous le faisons? Nous donnons une bague de fiançailles. Some of us even skip the promise ring because even the regular ring, some of us don't have it. Certains parmi nous avions euh, sauté la, 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 la bague de fiançailles parce que même la bague de mariage, on en avait, l'alliance même, on n'en avait pas. Let's put the word of God in the center of our marriages. And mettons, we're not going to have problem. Mettons la parole de Dieu au centre de nos mariages et on n'aura plus de problème. So, the, you know, Eliezer put his earring and bracelet upon the sister's hand and when, and when he heard the words of Rebecca saying that spake the man unto him that he came unto the man and behold he stood by the camel at the well. Can you say amen? amen. Rebecca accepted it. Rebecca l'a accepté. Amen. Amen. So that's it? Est-ce tout? No. No. Let's look at it step by step. Alors, regardons cela étape par étape. So Eliezer gave a promise to the girl. Eliezer a donné la promesse à la fille. That on behalf of Isaac, I'm standing here. Que je me tiens ici de la part d'Isaac. To do this to you. Pour te faire ceci. Because Eliezer have what a commission Parce from Eliezer Abraham, avait une commission according to the word of God, de la part d'Abraham selon la parole to de do Dieu, the right thing. À faire ce qui est juste. And Isaac, he said, the girl Rebecca accepted it with joy et and ran to the parents. La jeune fille Rebecca l'a accepté avec joie et now, a, a couru vers ses parents. Now verses 50. Look at the steps. Don't miss it. Why sometimes these vows can be nullified or wedding or whatever it may be. Et it could. The father can do it. Look at the way it was done. And we find in the scriptures, Rebecca was staying with her uncle. The uncle is Laban. So let's look at it. Then Laban and Bethel answered and said, Laban et Bethuel répondirent. Euh, the dit, thing proceeded from the Lord. We don't have time to read the whole scripture. La chose vient. How did they know? Comment l'ont-ils su? They investigated. They did their own investigation. Ils ont fait des investigations. So after this woman got this ring and everything and went and showed her dad. Après que le, cette fille a eu les bracelets, les anneaux. They didn't et, accept it like that. Pe- they did pe- their pe- own pe- prayer. Ils l'ont pas juste accepté. And their own investigation. Ils ont fait leur propre enquête. They did their own thorough investigation. Ils ont fait leur To know whether ancien. this man is not coming to lie. Pour savoir si cet homme n'est Because pas Any man can lie to you as a I love you and take you somewhere and destroy your life. So it's up to the parent to investigate the kind of young man. Maybe he's coming because of loss. Maybe God never sent him. And if God never sent him, who sent him? Now, listen to what he said. Then Laban and Bethel answered and said, the thing after getting all the testimonies, the test step by step, and he said, this thing comes from God. Amen. See, so the parent must not rush into it. A lot of times we make mistakes. You see. Instead of investigating, we want to look at maybe how the man is standing. Au lieu de, d'investiguer, nous nous disons comment l'homme se tient, maybe, sa position. Maybe how young and how nice he is. Combien il est jeune et Or gentil. maybe he has a good job and et peut-être qu'il a un bon boulot. Good, ride a good car. Et il a un bon véhicule. You're going to miss that. Vous allez manquer. You have to investigate. Vous devez enquêter. And know the character of the man et coming to take your daughter. Et connaître le caractère de l'homme qui vient poser votre fille. Now, and he said, and the thing pro- if the thing proceeded from the Lord, which means this thing is God, vient. we cannot stop it. Ce qui veut dire que ceci vient de Dieu, ne pouvons pas l'arrêter. And if it's from God, you better not 
stop Et si cela it. est de Dieu, il te, fera, il te fera mieux de ne pas le stopper. A lot of times the parents they know this is from God, but they still want to stop it. Et que de fois des parents savent que ça venait de Dieu, mais veulent l'arrêter. So they said, we cannot speak unto thee bad or good. It means pouvons, we leave it as it is. Nous ne pouvons te parler ni en mal ni en bien. Then in verses 51, listen to 51. Verset 51, écoutez. Behold, Rebecca is here before thee. Voici Rebecca devant toi. On our part, as parents, we don't have problem. Comme parents, en, en, en tant que parents, because we know that thing proceeded from God. Parce que nous savons que cela vient de Dieu. But it's up to the woman herself. Mais il appartient maintenant la feuille à la fille. To make her final decision. De prendre sa décision finale. Now the question is, la where question the annulment est... come in? Imagine Laban and Bethel have investigated and found that. That man was lying. Vient la nuit, what are they la, going la, to do? La, la They'll Et say, hey, Mr. Eliezer, take, take your bracelet and your earrings or whatever Eliezer, and leave this house. Eliezer, prenez vos bracelets et vos anneaux et cette maison. You see how simple the word of God is. Voyez-vous combien la parole de Dieu est simple. So the parent must have the final consent. Alors, les parents doivent donner leur consent. Consentement final. Many people think that the parents don't matter. Beaucoup pensent que les parents n'ont pas leur place. Or if the parents don't matter, who born the girl or who born the man? Who, who changed the diaper of this little girl to she become an adult? Qui a changé les les couches de cette fille jusqu'à ce qu'elle ne devienne âgée? And the Bible says when that thing happened. Et la Bible dit si cela arrive. Eliezer gave gifts. A lot of gifts. Eliezer avait donné beaucoup de cadeaux. And you are a man, you don't have a job. How are you going to even give gifts? Tu veux te marier, tu n'as pas de You have to be working. Tu dois des dons. You, you have to be serious. Tu dois you have to be serious in life. Tu dois être sérieux If you are going to school, you have to take your school serious. Et si tu vas à l'école, tu dois. Tu Because dois you have to give good gifts to the parents. Parce que tu dois donner de bons cadeaux aux parents. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. We take our final scripture. Nous allons prendre notre dernière écriture. Numbers. Chapter 30. Nom 30. A carpet. Cela couvre tout. Now. À présent. I'm going to. Oh, time is going. Wow. We still have some little notes. Now, Numbers chapter 30. This is very important scripture. Let's get this and then we will be. Maybe we'll get one quote and be done. Numbers 30. Listen. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. So if the vow is taken in good faith, it's binding. He shall do according to all that proceeded out of his mouth. Verses 2, verses 3. If the woman also vow a vow. Now, there's a difference between the man vowing a vow. Now, that, that's the scripture. And the woman also vowing, let's say that little young girl, vowing a vow. Look at the difference. Her vow must come under the authority of his father. The, or the vow is not valid. That is why Brother Brian broke, he broke it. Now, I want you to watch it. Don't miss it. If you miss it, you miss everything. Now, if a woman also vow a vow unto the Lord and bind herself to the bond, being in her father's house, if the woman is still in her father's house, watch it. Means that woman has not been given or given to marriage yet. Father's house. Now watch it. Okay, let's go to the Elle next step. Now, and her father hear her vow. The Et father will hear that my daughter made a vow. Et que le père because que the man can force the vœu. woman to make any kind of vow. Parce que Your vow marries you. 
La fille a fait de vœu, ton vœu te marie. Tell somebody, God is a wise God. Dieu c'est un Dieu sage. And her father here, her vow, and her bond wherewith she has bound her soul. Et que son père Even she has bound her soul. Du vœu qu'elle and a her father, par la, par and her lui. father shall hold his peace. Si son père in, Adam, si in other words, if the father is okay with the vow, en it means si the vow is good to go. It's done in good faith. Bon, the father is happy. Le père means est the father hold his peace. Et qu'il garde silence. The father is at peace. Le père est that I gave my vow. And, the, and accord, the man did his investigations. Oh, l'homme a fait ses enquêtes, my dear, oh, that bon, is a good bon man. C'est un bon homme. I'm with you. Je suis the vow is good. Le vœu est bon. But listen, if the father is not happy, Mais écoutez, si le père n'est pas content. that man, you will never get that woman. Cet homme ne va jamais épouser cette fille. Listen. Écoutez. Now, and her father shall hold his peace at her. Then all her vows shall stand. All, everything she said will stand because the father is happy. Now listen. And every bond wherewith she has bound her soul shall stand. So you want to Et bypass the father? You are wasting your time. Excuse me? You want to bypass... Your father. <laughs> tu veux passer derrière le père? Amen. How many fathers are here? Combien de pères y a-t-il ici? Amen. Amen. So you see your position? Voyez-vous votre position? You see how wonderful God put you? Voyez-vous combien Dieu vous a merveilleusement placé? So that man, if you are coming, make sure you prepare. Bring Prends gifts. Soin. Bring gifts. You know, bring Prends gifts. Prends soin quand venant, tu apportes des cadeaux. Amen. Because you are coming to take a precious thing from the home. Parce que tu viens prendre now let's see. Let's, let's get this. Now. Okay. If her father disallow her. Mais si son père le and the day that he heareth not any of her vows. Il en a connaissance de tous ses vœux, not any of her vows. Or her bond wherein she has bound her soul et tous les shall stand. Et tous les engagements par lesquels elle se sera nullified. Liée, aucune valeur you think annulée. Brother Abraham broke the word? No. Vous pensez que Frère Abraham a brisé la parole? Let's give non. the Lord a clap of praise. Donnons une acclamation, <laughs> Seigneur. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 That is why you must give respect to your mom and dad. Voilà pourquoi tu dois respecter ton père et ta mère. As we close. Alors que nous en avons à la fin. We leave other questions. The question on polygamy, differentiation, you, we, can, we can tackle that. Amen. So the last uh, point we want to look at is how can the marriage hold before we close? What can make the marriage hold? Love. Amen. Amen. All right. And the message says, we will see Jesus. Messieurs, nous voulons voir Jésus. Dans that, ce is, message. that is how your marriage will hold. Voici comment ton mariage says, we Messieurs, will see Jesus. Nous voulons voir Jésus. Find out one thing. Now, I'm, I'm not reading the quote. Find out one thing that you and your spouse have in common. Remember we read that? Trouve cette chose que tu and your marriage. Époux, vous avez en commun dans votre and mariage. that will anchor the marriage. Et cela va le mariage. Find out one thing that you can have in common. Ce que vous pouvez avoir en commun. So, but Abraham was telling this story Et about a couple. They're fighting. À d'un qui se and so they came to a stage where they decided to to divorce Et ils sont au point où or ils to separate. Se so they decided to go to court. Et ils ont they filed the application. And they hired a lawyer, an attorney. Et ils ont tous pris des when the avocats. attorney went through everything and did his investigation, he Et said, you people, you people stand at loss. You might, you might lose everything to the court. 
Et quand l'avocat a tout vérifié, a bien vu tout ce qu'ils avaient en place, il leur a dit que vous allez tout perdre à la justice. It's in the message, says we will see Jesus. C'est dans le message, messieurs, nous voulons voir Jésus. So the lawyer advised that why not go home and find a day and share the property Et so you don't lose it to the government. Le, l'avocat leur a dit pourquoi ne pas retourner chez vous, méditer, so, puis vous partagez vos biens pour que vous ne le perdiez pas. They, are, they agreed de la justice. and ils they set a day. Et ils ont choisi un jour. They said let's start from the living room. Et ils ont dit commençons par le salon. Then they begin to share the things. Ils ont commencé fight, par se partager another fight broke. Et <laughs> un autre combat encore commencé. This was I want this. This was I want this. This was I want this. Je veux ceci. Celui là dit je veux cela. They couldn't settle the matter. Et ils n'ont pu régler la They took it to their kitchen. Et ils sont allés à la cuisine. The woman said everything in the kitchen is mine. La femme dit tout ce qui est dans la cuisine est à moi. Then they took it to the living room. Et ils sont allés. Uh, they took it to the bedroom. Dans la chambre à coucher. Same thing. Même chose. Then they took it to other rooms. Ils sont allés dans les autres chambres. They couldn't even share the things they have. Ils n'ont même pas pu partager les choses qu'ils avaient. They said, let's go to the addicts. Or ad- is, is it attic? Attic. And let's go and get everything, all the antiques. Et allons euh, dans le magasin pour sortir tout ce que nous avons, les vintages que nous avons. So all of them, they climbed the ladder, they went there. Et ils, ils sont montés dans le magasin. And they have accumulated antiques. Et ils ont accumulé des choses, des vieilles choses. Over there at the attic too, they are fighting. Et là aussi, ils ont commencé par se battre. I said, what can we do? Et que nous Then all faire? of a sudden, they saw something. Et soudainement, ils ont vu quelque chose. And everybody reached their hand. Et tous deux... And when they reach their hand, bring your hand to me. Your, oh, brother, your hand is. Brother Baka, bring your hand. And their hands crossed. Leur main se croisa. And they pick up something. Shoes. Et ils ont pris quelque chose. Baby une chaussure, shoes. Une chaussure de bébé. Then they all stop. Et ils se sont arrêtés. Baby shoes solved their marriage problem. La chaussure du bébé a résolu leur problème. So in paragraph 74, let's look at it. I want to read it. I, I know it's not a waste of time. Paragraph 70. Actually, 73. Now, in a few moments, they uncover something and they both reach out for it. Their hand crossed. Et ils se sont avancés sur ça et leur main se croisa. None of their efforts solved the problem. Aucun de leurs efforts n'avait résolu. They couldn't la even share the property. Ils n'ont même pu partager les biens. But when their hands crossed, mais quand leurs mains se croisaient, and they pick up a pair of little baby shoes. Can you pull the coat? Le père, un père de chaussures. That d'enfant. God gave to them. Alors Dieu leur donna. They never have a child. Only one child passed away, a boy. Ils n'ont eu qu'un seul enfant, un bébé. Qui était décédé, and they garçon. saw the baby boy's shoes. Et ils ont vu le, les chaussures du, du bébé. And their hand crossed. Et leurs mains se croisaient. And they look at the shoes. Et ils ont regardé aux chaussures. They started crying. Et ils ont commencé par pleurer. That God gave to their union and God had taken away from them. Dieu avait donné ce bébé à leur union. Dieu leur avait There, enlevé cela. Who could claim them? Alors, qui peut Réclamer ses chaussures. Who has right to claim that one? Qui a droit à ses chaussures? You must find something in common in your marriage. Vous devez trouver quelque chose de commun dans votre mariage. That will become like a pivot. Qui va devenir comme un pivot. Upon which the marriage can stand. Sur lequel le mariage sera basé. This one, what they had was a pair of baby shoes. Cette famille, ce qu'ils avaient, c'était un paire de, de, de un paire de chaussures. It de was bébé. something they had in common. See. With their tears in each other's eyes, they pull the little shoes between them. Let's, let's say this is the shoe. Tout, so they pull the shoe. Le petit, le petit chaussure, le petit chaussure entre les Because deux. everybody have right to that baby shoe. Parce que chacun avait droit à ces chaussures de bébé. What do you have in common in your marriage? Qu'aviez-vous de commun dans votre mariage? The divorce was annulled. 
Le divorce a été annulé? I know you didn't hear me. Yeah. Because of that shoe. The, a, a no shoe. amount of words could pacify them by that eu, little baby shoe that they found. Il n'a pas eu assez de paroles pour les pacifier, mais les chaussures de bébé qu'ils ont trouvées pour les ramener ensemble. And they say, honey, Et ils ont dit, let's bon, stop this chérie, divorce. Arrêtons ce divorce. Because I have interest in this shoe. Parce que j'ai des intérêts dans ce, ces chaussures. And you also have an interest Et tu en as aussi. And Brother Branham said, what about a Christian? Et Frère Branham dit, qu'en est-il du chrétien? What do we have in common? Qu'avions-nous en commun? And what we have in common Ce que nous avons en commun is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Le baptême du Saint -Esprit. By one spirit, Par un seul esprit. we are all baptized nous avons été tous baptisés en Christ. So Barbara said, what we have in common as believers is the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. This song said, give me oil in my lamp Keep it burning. God la. Now, if you go home, Quand vous allez à la maison, search and find out what you have in common. Et ce que vous avez en commun. And if there's a problem, et il y a un problème, don't worry about the problem because the devil will bring the problem any, anyhow. De toute façon, find out what you have in common. Trouvez ce que vous avez en commun. And pull it between you. Et amenez cela entre vous deux. The problem will be solved. Le problème sera résolu. Give me oil in my lamp. Dans ma lampe. Keep it burning. Et garde la briller.